Hi there. Today I want to show you how we can use OpenStreetMap building footprints and a digital surface model to create accurate 3D models of building blocks for noise calculation. The data that we're working with today is OpenStreetMap building footprints that we have already downloaded, a terrain model, and a surface model. Let's have a look at the difference between the terrain model and the surface model first. So the terrain model is a model of the terrain, as the name says. And so it normally interpolates the surfaces beneath buildings. And it doesn't include the information, the height information about buildings and vegetation. Here you can see the terrain model. and now we overlay the surface model. Here you see we already have the information of the buildings and the vegetation. And if we take a look at the OpenStreetMap building footprints, in particular in the attribute table, we will find that there is no information about the building height. And so this is what we want to add in this lecture. The tool that we are going to use is called Zonal Statistics, and we can find it in the Processing Toolbox. If you haven't opened your Processing Toolbox yet, go to Processing and click on Toolbox. Then in the search field, we type in Zonal Statistics. And on the raster analysis, we find the zonal statistics tool. We double click on it and open it. So what the zonal statistics tool does is it takes uh, polygons and rasters and calculates statistics for the polygons from the raster, uh, raster layer. In our case, we're interested in the maximum values because we want to get uh, the, the height data from the roofs. So first we choose the raster layer and we choose the surface model. And then we, we choose um, for the, the zone layer, we use the OpenStreetMap buildings. Here in the line statistics to calculate, we can click on this button and choose from a range of statistics that we want to calculate. And for our purpose, we just click all and run the tool. Once it has finished, we can open the attribute table of our OpenStreetMap building footprint layer and scroll to the far right. And there we see that we have quite a few statistical values calculated for each polygon. Okay, now let's have a look how this looks in 3D. To do that, we are going to use the QGS to 3JS plugin. If you haven't downloaded it yet, you can go to Plugins, Manage and Install Plugins, and then search for QGIS to 3JS, and here you have it, and just download it if you haven't done so. Okay, let's open the tool. Uh, before we open it, let's zoom into an area. Um, the thing is that these 3D uh, modeling operations are quite computational heavy, and so if you don't want to wait ages um, to, to compute large model, zoom in and exclude some of the data. Go to web, QGIS to 3JS and click on the QGIS to 3JS exporter with preview off. So in the exporter we first choose a reference surface, which in our case is the terrain model, and then we select the polygons, the OpenStreetMap polygons that we want to 
have displayed above the terrain model. Click right on the OpenStreetMap layer and here we're going to set some attributes of our buildings layer. First we want the object type to be extruded and in our case we are working with absolute values, height values, so we, we leave absolute here and in style we're going to select um, one of the statistics that we have calculated and we're going for maximum. Okay, we, we can leave the rest, click to apply and then here in the bottom right corner we click on preview and wait a second until the model is loaded. Okay, there we are. Double click in the middle, zoom in here and there we can see that our building footprints have now the added height values. And so to check how these height values compare against um, a building model from uh, the, the land survey, I have downloaded also the, the um, building model from the land survey. So let's have a look how this looks in comparison. Okay, so we have now loaded the land survey 3D model and this is a facade model only, so it doesn't include the roofs. Now let's have a look at the, the differences. You see that, first of all, there can be a difference in the x, y coordinates of the building footprints. Uh, our experience is that in general, especially in, in heavy populated areas, the open street map data is more accurate than uh, survey data. Um, that is because it is often uh, more up to date than the survey data. And with regards to the height, uh, there are two different uh, things to, to notice here. So with flat roofs, you get almost the, the exact value as in, in the survey model, which is um, only the, the height of the facade. And so if you have a flat roof, you get the perfect height. But if you don't get a flat roof or if you have a, a tilted roof, then there is an overestimation of the facade height. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.